That is very nice cause coming in. Yes. Days, yes. Helping to to the, the heart. heart. Yes. Heart. Yes. You got the right color for it. Yes. Is it only for women? <laughs> yes, I mean, probably men, they need it more than women. Yes. Because it's much easier for a woman to be in the heart than it is for a man. A woman finds it, find it much easier to be in the heart. They have children, so they have a lot of opportunity to, to, to be in the heart. And also, it's a female quality. Yeah? It's got a feminine quality to it. It doesn't mean that uh, this feminine quality, uh, it belongs only to women. The feminine quality also belongs to men. And it's got nothing to do with the gender. Yeah? So th in the society, this feminine quality, we have linked it to women only. So for men, now it's a little bit difficult. Yeah? So the man has to be strong, has to be hard, has to have a, a so-called male image. Yeah? So he finds it a little bit more difficult. Yes. So it is for both. It is not just for women, it is mainly for men. <laughs> And um, um, yes, of course, women, they, uh, we tend to associate the heart with, this, the, with, the, with, with the sentiments and uh, with the, the common uh, um, description, let's say, of the heart I are the sentiments. Yeah? So, um, this kind of values, uh, whereas the what Osho talks about, the real heart is totally empty. It's empty of any emotions. It's empty of any thoughts. So it does. It doesn't have any uh, any 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 attachments. That is the mind. So what Osho describes when he talks about the heart is that it's totally empty. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have it doesn't have any boundaries. It's completely open. It doesn't have any judgments. It looks at things as as they are. Like a, a little boy or a little girl does. It's the little boy, the little girl is completely empty. So looks at things just as they are. Mm. Yeah? And it could be the worst thing that, you know, uh, the adult might look at, at something with a great, maybe negative judgment, and the child looks at the same thing and it just looks like he's not affected by it. Yeah? Every woman and man should come. Yes, I invite everybody. It's great fun. Um, because uh, it has a lot of, um, the empty heart has a lot of qualities, yeah? And it kind of transforms our life, basically. And what it also does when you go into the heart, um, you become more intuitive, yeah? E and intuition is something that we have lost, yeah? Uh, intuition is something that um, everything that we do is with the mind, everything is calculated, everything is planned, everything is uh, thought of. Intuition is something that is, uh, is something that you sense, yeah? And you sense it with trust, you just trust yourself, yeah? So unless you trust yourself, you cannot be intuitive, because sometimes we have a sense of something. Before we do it, we have a sense, mm, this could be great or this could not be great. <coughs> but we don't trust ourselves. And, uh, and then, uh, then we go for things, we are in the wrong place, 
uh, we're doing the wrong thing or, or whatever, uh, just because we didn't trust ourselves. We find ourselves in a relationship, for instance. We had a feeling that this perhaps is not, it's not a, it's, it's not a, um, it's not a, this could not be a, a beautiful relationship, let's say. Yeah? So we feel it and still we go into it. Yeah? Because we simply don't trust ourselves. So basically, when we are into the heart, we also learn to trust. Because yeah? one of the qualities of the heart is to, yeah, is to trust. Yeah? And we have lost it. We don't trust ourselves, we don't trust anybody. So we, we, we just don't move. So we, we go into fear, basically. Yes. People make plans and schedules every yeah. day, they just plan everything in. Yes, in an yes. And yes, and yes. And if they lose something, they try to just think what's, what, what's behind and, and they still fail. Yes. But yeah. how, how it really works? So, what's if someone wants to come and sh she or he knows nothing, what do we do here? Well, we, first of all, um, we recognize where we are. Where are we? Who is speaking? Who is doing something? Who is... Um, who is... Um, who is the manager? Who is kind of... Who is this actor? Yes? Because we have many different masks. Yeah? So we just rec recognize where we are. Yes? Because basically, uh, it's not a question of doing. It's a question of undoing. We do something completely different. Because again, the mind wants to think that we are going to do something. We are going to be learning something. But actually what we're going, what's going to happen is that we are going to unlearn. We are going to unlearn all the ideas that we have about ourselves. We are going to unlearn all the misunderstandings. I'm Italian, you're Estonian, somebody else is Spanish, somebody else is Chinese. These are all ideas that we have about ourselves. Yeah? That is pretty hard to tell to people that don't think. Oh, oh, okay. yes. You stop thinking. You stop everything. thinking. Yes, it's very hard. So basically, the idea is uh, you don't need to stop to think because you can't do that. So in this uh, course, in this opening to the heart, uh, you're not asked to do anything. You're simply asked to be available to recognize where we are, what is this mind, and, and, and to just see, because normally we see the outside. I see you, you see me, but do I see myself? So the capacity to see the outside, that's great, we, we got it. Yeah? That's how I managed to come to this uh, sofa without bumping my head into a wall. Yeah? Because I look on the outside. So in the three days opening to the heart, we also learn to look at the inside with the same clarity. So that we don't bump into the wall. Because basically, if I don't look inside emotionally, we, we are bumping into each other all the time. With arguments, with discussions, with agreement, with disagreement. We are always bumping into each other. All the disagreements or the misunderstanding is like bumping into each other. Yeah? All the tensions is another way of bumping into each other, basically. So we just, um, uh, it's not a question of asking somebody, stop thinking. First of all, you need to recognize that you are thinking. Most of the time you don't know you're thinking. You're lost in thoughts and you have no idea. Then somebody goes like this to you, boom, <laughs> and then you go like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you get scared. Oh, you scared me. 
And uh, actually what happened was you were so absorbed into a trance, you were in a trance, you were so lost into a thought, you were completely somewhere else. Your body is here, but actually you were somewhere else completely, in the farmyard, or maybe with the accountant discussing the income tax. Yeah? Even though you're in your living room with your girlfriend or with your wife, you're actually perhaps in the office with your, uh, with your accountant discussing the income tax. And you're like this. And then somebody comes <gasps> and you get scared. <laughs> so you come back here uh, in this so quickly yeah, that you get startled, yeah? you get scared. Uh -huh.